Once, in a bustling village, there lived a young merchant named Koji. He was known for his sharp business acumen, but he often found himself plagued by negative thoughts and worries about his trade. One day, feeling overwhelmed by these thoughts, he decided to seek guidance from a wise old Zen master named Sensei Yu. Upon reaching Sensei Yu's humble abode, Koji poured out his concerns. Sensei, I am constantly haunted by negative thoughts about my business. I fear failure, and this fear cripples my actions. How can I free myself from these destructive thoughts? Sensei Yu nodded understandingly and invited Koji for tea. As they sat in silence, the old master began to pour tea into Koji's cup. He kept pouring even after the cup was full, and tea spilled over the sides. Sensei, the cup is full. It can't hold any more tea, exclaimed Koji. Sensei Yu smiled and said, Indeed, Koji. Your mind is like this cup. It is already full of negative thoughts and worries about your business. If you want to fill it with positive thoughts and successful strategies, you must first empty it of the negativity. Perplexed, Koji asked, But how do I empty my mind, Sensei? These thoughts seem unstoppable. Sensei Yu replied, Negative thoughts are like clouds passing through the sky. You can't stop them from coming, but you can choose not to let them linger. Acknowledge these thoughts without judgment, and then let them go. Don't attach yourself to them. Instead, focus on the present moment and the actions you can take to improve your business. Intrigued, Koji asked, but what if I fail, Sensei? What if my business doesn't succeed? Sensei you chuckled softly. Failure is a part of life, Koji. Even the most successful entrepreneurs have faced failures. Instead of fearing it, embrace it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Every setback is a stepping stone toward success if you approach it with the right mindset. As Koji contemplated Sensei Yu's words, he felt a newfound sense of clarity and determination. He realized that his negative thoughts were not his enemies but rather clouds passing through his mind. With a deep breath, he thanked Sensei Yu and left the humble abode with a heart full of hope. From that day on, whenever negative thoughts about his business crept into his mind, Koji remembered the wisdom of Sensei Yu. He acknowledged these thoughts, let them go, and focused on the present moment and the positive steps he could take. In time, Koji's business flourished, not because he never faced challenges, but because he faced them with a clear mind and a resilient spirit. And whenever he found himself struggling, he would visit Sensei Yu, who would gently remind him of the simple yet profound truth, the key to destroying negative thoughts about business lay in emptying the mind, embracing failures, and focusing on the present moment.